Hello. Today I want to talk a little bit about selectors. So I have a simple application here. And let's say I want to use do something inside it. So I click record and I click file. I click escape and it finds file. Everything is good. Um, so let's try and open something inside here. And then let's go back and find file. Now it doesn't find file. So what's wrong? Let's try and click file again. And compare the selectors. So if I open this and this, what you will see is that the, the name here changed so for some reason and you know this is not wrong or anything but in this case the window name contains the name of the file that is open so because i open something the name is now different so now i can't find it so we can easily fix that right i could go inside here and i could say search for gold sim player star and that means it will find something that matches this where the name starts with gold sim and then it can be anything after that. So if I now click highlight, you can see it finds something. So I click OK. <coughs> but if I close the application and I open it again and I click highlight, now it fails. So let's try one more time and click on the file button. And let's copy the selector. There we go. And what you will see now is that this, let's put it down here. So if you look at the class name, it has an ID. Um, you see this, usually this is WPF. I don't know what framework this is, but clearly not WPF. But some frameworks will either create unique automation IDs or class name, and those change every time you open the window or every time you restart the application. Um, so because this is changing every time we restart the application, we kind of need to get rid of that. The, there's no unique identifier that we can use. Oh, well, maybe AX4, I don't know. Never mind. We can just delete it, right? We just need to uniquely identify the window, and we can do that by using the name. So if I remove that and click highlight, you can see now it finds something. So let's try this again, right? Let's say that I want to open an example file. Um, I'm going to copy this. So let's say I want to open Mono Lake. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to click record and file and open example. I'm going to click the file name, paste in the name, click open and escape. And now we know that all of the selectors are a little bit wrong. So we can now copy and paste the selector that we know that works. So I'm going to click open. It is kind of on my to do list to create I don't know, a templating system, a replacer system, or something that would make it possible to write rules so you can automate this. But for now, we need to just do it manually. There we go. I think I got all of them. Yep. <coughs> so let's try this again. So I click play, and it seemed to work really really fast so I click did I forget to there we go so I click play and something weird happened in the menu so let's close the workflow and open it and click play and you will see that we get an error so I'm getting complaints that I'm being too technical in some of my videos so I'm gonna skip the explanation here but the main idea is that for some specific reason, uh, this will 
find something, but it doesn't really exist and therefore it fails. So by adding a three second delay here, this will now work. So I click run and you can see that it opened the file. Um, so let's close the application and reopen it. And now if I click play, it still works. So I can now con consistently reopen that file inside this application by modifying the selector to combat the things that changes between each run of each opening of the application. I hope this helps.